now let's talk about the fields and widgets which you can find inside the studio okay so here basically i have already opened the studio i'll just open and show so here you have this icon close to the activities okay so if you click on this particular thing it actually takes you to such a window where you can create a new app okay so creating an app is really simple you have to click on the plus icon over here and then here you have to name your app so i'm giving the name as real estate okay and from here you can choose the icon the background and the color of the icon so i'm not doing any changes and clicking on next over there okay so whether you i mean you can actually choose the name of the menu from there as well so i'm choosing the name as properties okay and you can also choose whether it is a new model or an existing model it can be anything so let it be a new model and i'm clicking on next okay so all the things are here and i'm going to click on create your app now here comes all the fields which you can see inside the studio okay so here if you take a look on the left side of the screen you have a lot of new fields and the existing fields can be seen here so new fields first of all we have the text here okay so this is the character field okay so here if you click on the text you can simply drag and drop it towards the screen okay so that's the text okay so that's the label from here you can actually change the label so i am putting the label as text itself so that we will understand easily and if you scroll down you can see widget so for this particular field you have certain widgets so if you click on the screen you can see you have multi line text uh, like for emojis for text for a phone number you have this thing you have the reference you have the stat info the text care emojis and also the text character similarly you have the badge which is basically used to display the values inside a round shape similar to a tag okay and then you have the copy text to clipboard so where users can copy the value by clicking a button so it can either be a character or a url then you have email so here the value becomes a clickable mail to link and then you have the Im image okay so it displays an image using a url okay and then uh, we have the multi line texts and all then you have the phone so here the value becomes a clickable telephone number link and then you have all these things like the reference the stat and for text and all okay so those are the properties which we have for the field which is text okay so it can be used from here so if you want badge like if you want the value of this particular thing to be a badge then you can add a badge over here so i have chosen the widget as badge similarly any other widget can be chosen so if it's a email or phone number or image whatever it is you can choose it from here so that's the first one so that's the first property which i'm adding so let's move on to the next one which is the multi line text so this is the multi line text which is also a text field but this is used for longer text okay so which basically contains any type of character and if you just drag and drop it somewhere so i'll just drop it over here here we have the multi line text so the label can be changed from here i'm putting it to multi line text itself and then you have the widgets for this multi line text so i'm clicking on the widgets okay so here under the widgets you have a lot of things like the ace editor and then uh, you have the multi line text which is for sms widget for emojis for text for character emojis and cat okay all these widgets are there for this multi line text so let it be multi line itself next let's move on to the other one which is integer so i'm dragging and dropping the integer over here so you all know this is basically used for all integer numbers okay so i've added integer here now for integer also if you take on the widgets you have a lot of things okay so you have things like the handle the integer the monetary and the basic things to note is that you have this percentage okay a percentage pi is there a progress bar is there a stat info is there and also a thing which shows the percentages there so if i'm adding percentage pi it shows the 
percentage pi over there. So we will see the thing once it's done. Now let's go back. Then we have the decimal over here, which is basically of the data type float. Okay. So this is used for all decimal numbers. Like it can either be positive, negative or even zero or a number with a decimal point. Okay. So if you put on the decimal over here, let's see what happens. So for decimal, the widgets are such things. So you have the monetary, which is similar to using the monetary field that is recommended to use it. Uh, I mean, use the later as it offers more functionalities. And then you have the percentage, which will display a percent character after the value. And then you have the percentage pi, which displays value inside a percentage circle. And then you have the progress bar. Okay, so this will be displaying the value next to a percentage bar. And then you have the time there, also the stat info. So the time also, it will be shown in hours and minutes format with a maximum of 59 minutes. Okay, so for decimal, you can add any of these. So either a percentage bar, I mean the progress bar or whatever it is. So let it be. And next you have the monetary. Okay. So here in the monetary field, which is used for all monetary values. Okay. So when you first add a monetary field, you are prompted to add a currency field in the none, if the none exists uh, already on the model. So I am going to put monetary over here. Okay. So in case of currency and all, you can use that. And the widgets are given here. So for that, you have widgets like float, stat, info and monetary. So in case of adding currency and all, you can use the monetary. Next, you have the HTML. So if you put HTML over here, what happens? You all know why HTML is used. So if you have to add any kind of HTML code towards it, you can use this HTML. And the widget, if you just touch on the screen of widgets, you have widgets like the multi-line text. So in multi-line text itself, we have three types. One is for the SMS widget, the text emojis and the text. Okay, so all these widgets are there for the HTML. So next, if you move on, you have the date. So this date field is used to select a date on a calendar. Okay, so if you move on to the date, the date is added over here. And for date, we have the widgets like date, the remaining days and the date range. So the remaining days is basically the remaining number of days before the selected date is displayed, which is based on the current date. Okay, so that's the date. And then you have the date and time. So this date and time is used to select a date on a calendar and a time on a clock. Okay, both date and time can be selected together. So I'm putting date and time over here. And for this also, you have the very same widget like the remaining days, date and time and all as of that of the date. Then you have checkbox here. So checkbox is basically a Boolean field. So it has only true, two values, either true or false, right? So it has things like button or a toggle and all. So I'll show that also. So here if you put the checkbox, you have the widgets over here. Okay. So for the widgets, you have a boolean icon, a checkbox, a favorite thing and a toggle button. So a toggle button actually displays, uh, you know, a toggle. Yeah, it displays a toggle button, obviously. And the widget works without switching to the edit mode. Okay. So here you can see, you can switch it from here. Okay. So that's the toggle button. Now, if you move on, you have the selection option over here. So this is used for cases where user should select a single value from a group of predefined values. Like we have the, uh, you know, like if we have multiple values to choose from a drop down and all, you can choose it from here. So you can add a new value from here. I'll just add new. Uh, and multiple, you know, options can be added so that the person can choose from the options. So I'm just confirming it. Okay, so that's the selection. So basically in the selection, we also have this badge where badge we have. Similarly, we have badges as well. So the badge is the thing that displays the value inside a rounded shape similar to a tag. Okay, but badges, these displays all selectable values simultaneously inside rectangular shapes. Uh, organized horizontally and then you have the priority which will display star symbols instead of 
values and then you have the radio button which will display all selectable values at the same time as radio buttons. Going back to the fields, so we were talking about selection, okay. So then you have things like the file, the lines and all. So we have priority here. So this is priority, okay. So this field is set to, I mean, used to set priority. So you all know what priority is, right? So it is for marking different stars. So based on the stars, the priority has been set. So here also you have options like all these things. And if you go back, you have a thing called file. Okay, so this is a binary field which is used to upload any type of file or assign or I mean or assign a form. Okay, so if you just add file here. So that's the new file. Okay, and here you have widgets like the file, the image and the PDF viewer and all. Okay, so you can add a file type over here. So I'll put file. Okay, so I'll let the type be file. Now going back to this, next you have a thing called image. So this is the image. The image field is used to upload an image and display it in the form view. So this field type is a file field with the image with uh, image widget selected by default. Consequently, so if you put on the image icon over here, image can be selected. And then you have the sign. Okay, so this is the signature which is binary which is used to sign the form of form electronically okay and then you have the related field so here the related fields are used to display or link all i mean link and display the data from records on another model so that's the related field and then you have this many to one and all so many to one field is used to link another record from another model to the record being edited okay and you have Similarly, one to many, which is used to display the existing relation between record on the current model and multiple records from other model. Okay. And then you have this thing, which is lines. So this lines field is used to create a table with rows and columns. So I'll just add and show this to you guys. Okay. Lines can be added from there, which is basically to create a table. So here you can see new lines, the description and all. Okay. So you might have seen these lines in case of order lines and all. And if you go back, you have many to many. So this is used to link multiple records from other models or multiple records on the current model. Okay. And then finally, you have the tags. So these tags are basically used to display several values from another model appearing in rounded shapes as known as tags. So you all know how tags looks like in Odoo, right? So that's basically how it works. And then you have the properties. So here you have the properties. So it is invisible. Like when it's not necessary for you to search to, you know, view a field on the UI, you can take it or otherwise it helps clearly, helps to clear the UI by only showing the essential fields depending on a specific situation. So these are the basic things which comes under the fields and widgets. So this is how the fields or the widgets look like. Okay, so you have done all these things. If you simply scroll down, you can see the image is here, the new file is here, everything is here. Okay, so it's all saved right now. Okay, now if you just close it. So you can see this is how the thing which we created were, looks like. Okay, the priority is here, the checkbox is here, the field to add image is here, file adding is here, the new lines which we added is here the monetary which was the currency everything is here okay so this is how easily you can edit the fields and widgets in the uh, odoo 18 studio so yeah guys that's it